up, y'all? How are y'all doing? How are y'all feeling? I asked y'all on Instagram a few days ago, ask your girl some questions. If you don't mind, ask your girl some things. I'm going to be answering the questions that you all, you know, ask me via Instagram, okay? But before we get into this video, please smash that like button, light it up, light it up, light it up. Comment down below, hit the red subscribe button with the white letters and that lovely notification bell right next to it so that we don't miss out any of my future posts on my channel and tap that share button as well. I post vlogs and other lit content. Y'all, it's a situation, okay? Let's get into it. I'm gonna start with this question right here, which says, what is one of the things that you like about yourself? I always like to start with the inner qualities because I feel like the inner qualities are more important than like the outer appearance. My personality, cause that's one of the things that makes me who I am and I can have a fun time by myself. <laughs> so I don't know, I will have to say my personality. I feel like I'm very goofy. So yeah, my personality. <laughs> Next question, what are your future goals? Honestly, I will not sit here and list all of my future goals because I do believe that you should keep some things to yourself. That's kind of as far as I'll go with that one, but future goals, I feel like that's another loaded question just because I feel like I have so many goals for myself because I'm always trying to do better, be better, learn more things, to continue to motivate people, uplift people, of course, give God all the credit and, and all the glory and all the honor and all the praise, okay? And to learn more about myself to continue to fall in love with myself and of course you know yeah just be better do better learn more things continue to educate myself and so that's kind of as far as i would like to go with that question but great question how old am i i am 26 pretty soon <laughs> i'll be 27. any advice you would give to someone who's having a bad day it really depends on like how long of a time frame do I have to give advice to this person? <laughs> and I know everybody's situation is different. Somebody's bad day or bad days can vary. Depending upon the situation, if I knew what exactly it is that they're going through, then I may apply different things to sad situations. But I would say general response, I would have to say, give it to God, pray about it. And believe it or not, it's going to get better. It really just depends on the situation because if somebody's grieving like the loss of a loved one, like me personally, I don't really feel as if there's much that I can say. So I may just say something like, I'm here for you and leave it at that. Cause sometimes if you keep egging any type of situation on and on and on, I feel like it can actually probably make it worse. So to sum it up in a nutshell, I would probably say, depending on the situation, um, or I'll probably say, you know, God got you, it's gonna be okay. Um, I know right now it feels like it's chaotic. It's a lot going on. It may even feel overwhelming, but you got this and look at how far you've come. And it's light at the end of the tunnel and you can't give up. So that way you can look back one day and see see how far you came from where you were just like you've probably done in previous situations throughout your life so that's what I feel like I would say I know it's easy to say what you would say until you get in a certain situation but that's what I feel as if I would say so yeah and that you know especially if I'm really close to that person you know and I may know like all the specifics of the situation that I may assess it and you know go a little deeper with what I say potentially. But yeah, I feel like that's what I would say. <laughs> How do you keep your skin looking so healthy? Okay, chill, <laughs> chill. First of all, don't let this makeup fool you, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying that my skin is ugly. I'm not saying none of that. All I'm saying is my skin is very sensitive. And honestly, I've even been slack with my water, Uh, you know, before I've been working on that. So trying to drink more water. But I will say I wear makeup periodically now, but I don't wear it as much as I used to. Not saying there's anything wrong with makeup. Don't get it twisted because I got makeup on right now. Okay, but I'm not a dermatologist, okay? Uh, I'm I'm flattered that you said that. Thank you for the compliment. However, all I can really say is I've been trying to up my water. Um, I be, you know, minding my business, which I've always been doing that. And me and my skin, we you know, we, we trying to figure this thing out, okay? <laughs> so I'll just say, I don't know. I'm trying to drink more water. Um, I really don't eat a lot of fried foods. So I feel like that helps skin. Um, it's not perfect and I definitely have a long way to go with my skin, but I will say that it has gotten better and I don't, break out as much. I do have a few dark spots. If you have seen any of my previous videos on my first vlogging channel, Punky vs. Asia, I did a few get ready with me videos and things like that where I didn't have any makeup on. So you could see kind of what exactly my skin was looking like with no makeup or anything on. So I feel like my skin has gotten a little better. I still have a few dark marks on my face and that's just because previously I had breakouts and some of those breakouts turned, well, a lot of those breakouts turning the dark spots but yeah 
<laughs> but other than that, I mean, I don't really break out like on my legs, my arms, um, stuff like that. So I don't have perfect skin, not even, not at all. But I don't know. Every day I'm working on working on it, trying to do better with every aspect of me. Okay. But thank you though. <laughs> what is one wish? I don't really wish. I mean, I pray. So I guess I'll flip it in a sense and say I pray about a lot of different things, but I don't really have necessarily wishes. And then even when I have like my birthday, like if I have like a cake and I blow out the candle, I don't really wish I pray. I just pray about a lot of different things. <laughs> a lot of different things. What is something that creeps you out? I don't like when people stare at me. So I will say that that can kind of be like agitating and like annoying and just frustrating. Cause it's like, what are you looking at? Like if you look at a person and then you look away, go on about your business, like we all have eyeballs. But when you sit there and gawk and like stare at a person, that is so aggy. Like it's so agitating. Like, what are you looking at fam? Like, can I help you? But <laughs> that would creep me out. Cause it's like, what are you looking at? Like, why are you staring at me? Like. What is one thing that keeps you pushing? God, and realizing that he gives me my strength because if it wasn't for God, y'all, you know what they say, where would I be? Like for real. And looking at how far he's brought me and, and thinking to myself, okay, Asia, like you came this far. You still have a long way to go, but you came this far. God didn't leave you. He's not gonna leave you. And what you're doing, what God's purpose is for you is not in vain. God creating you is not in vain. So it's like, no matter how frustrating it is, no matter how confusing it is, no matter how overwhelming it is, you cannot quit. And it's like, that just really pushes me to keep going, keep trying, keep learning new things. And I love the fact that God instills resilience within all of us. And so I love that because it's like the fact that like we can balance back, you feel me? And so I really love that. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful that he instills resilience within all of us because you know, we all go, to, go through different things and y'all like that resilience is just a blessing. <laughs> um, that's what keeps me pushing, going, seeking more, wanting more, you feel me? In every aspect of my life and wanting more in every aspect of my life and thinking to myself, I have to go harder. I have to learn something new. I have to do something different. Okay, if this doesn't work, I have to take another approach at it. You trying to tell me that I'm about to just stop and give up? Like, I can't do that. It's like, I've seen how God has delivered me in so many different areas of my life. And it's like, I don't get it all right. Some days get hard as I don't know what y'all, golly. Like, man, it'd be dark if you feel like it's dark as a freaking black room, black curtains, no lights, electricity off, but God talks to me and God shows me different things and I'll hear something I need to hear. That That's what keeps me pushing and just realizing that, okay, if I give up, there may be a girl or a dude or a cat or dog, whoever, whatever, that needs to hear what God is speaking through me to say. And it's like, even though I don't know everything and I don't know what the heck, I'm supposed to do it times, but your purpose is more so for other people than it is for yourself. And so that's what keeps me going, okay? I'm, oh, I can keep going on about that question all day, okay? <laughs> what is something you love in this very moment? Well, that's a loaded question. Well, because I feel like there's a lot of things that I love. There's a lot of people I love. But I'm guessing, I don't know. I'm not trying to make this about myself, um, but I guess I'll speak on some of the things that I love in this season of my life or some of the things that I have learned that I love about this season of my life. And that is resilience. Once again, I'm realizing that I am strong because God gives me my strength. Like, and I already knew that, but I feel like I'm realizing that more, realizing that now more than ever. And really, 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 really realizing my worth and that, no matter who leaves, no matter who stays, I am good enough. I My purpose is not erased because somebody walks out on me or something walks out on me or, you know, or something doesn't go my way or it doesn't happen when I think it's supposed to happen. So those are some of the things that, and of course I love people. I love, you know what I'm saying? The person that I'm becoming, I don't have everything figured out. I don't know everything. I will never know everything, but I can stand firm, which I feel like I've been able to do that for quite some time. No arrogance, hear my heart. But those are some of the things that in this current moment and just realizing that if people or a, a person or a thing is not giving you or not making you a priority, then don't feel bad if you don't make them a priority or yeah and don't blame yourself for someone's someone else mistake i love my confidence bro like i love that 
<laughs> like I'm a black woman and it's like I feel like I've always it's nothing wrong with wearing you know extensions um wigs anything because I've worn you know wigs I've worn extensions all of that I have nothing negative to say about that but I'm saying I feel like now I'm more confident the most confident that I've ever been with myself and even when it comes to like my hair I've always been pretty much like a natural girl I've never had a relaxer or anything and I'm not throwing shade to anybody I'm just saying like you know I'm confident and I and I love like the woman that I am becoming and that I'm evolving and that you know there was a time where I would not walk out with an afro or you know I've always been natural so you know I would always straighten my hair and things like that and being me and being confident while I'm doing it and it's like I just love that about myself and I just love it you know I'm finding different ways to be creative in every aspect of my life so I love that creativity aspect and confidence you feel me like and I'm just learning new stuff every day and I and I love that and <laughs> and and not having a problem admitting when I failed at something but I'm still gonna keep trying so ah, it's just so many things I can say like to answer that question any ideas for a YouTube video it just depends on what niche um if you have a niche like because you may be a beauty creator, you may be a gamer, you may be a travel vlogger, you may be a musician. Um, so it really just depends. Um, but I will say if you are looking into doing YouTube or any platform for that matter, try to do something that you love, something that you can make several videos about because you don't wanna feel like you're working a nine to five. If this is something that, and making content of any kind is something that you're, and really interested in make sure that you're doing something that you genuinely love so it doesn't feel like a nine to five because i'm gonna tell you right now like i just now found a niche within like the last few months um like the end of 2021 and before that i had no idea i mean i ain't gonna lie like i don't really like being boxed in when it comes to like having a niche per se um, because I like to make all types of different, like different types of content, but make sure it's something that you love to do because yeah, <laughs> you don't want to be doing something that you don't love because then it's just, then it's just going to feel like you're doing a nine to five, you know, like you're working a nine to five. You get, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> What's your next step? Okay. Now I'm not really sure like what you exactly you mean with what's my next step like I don't know if you mean in general um with YouTube like I'm not sure but I'm gonna just assume you're talking about YouTube just because I'm doing a YouTube video right now and the Q&A is going on my YouTube channel um <laughs> but for my channel um that kind of ties into like future goals I have several future goals not only for this channel but for my life in general but I will say to to just continue to self-educate myself, not only with YouTube, but every aspect of my life, continue to be more financially literate and literate in general, not just financially, okay? And you know, inspire people and, and just to learn more things, to learn something that I didn't know yesterday, you feel me? So I feel like, I know that's kind of broad, like a broad, vague answer, but that's really kind of some, that really kind of sums it up. Um, Yeah, and of course, you know, more watch time, more subscribers, more views, <laughs> more money. Like, what's up? Like, stop playing with me. Um, So, you know, of course I do want to become monetized, God willing, this year. And if that's not in the plan, then okay, maybe next year or the year after that, or whatever God sees fit, if monetization is even, if monetization is even in my future when it comes to me uploading on this platform, which I hope it is, but if it's not, and I just simply get up here, even if, you know, I'm not meant to, you know, get monetized or, at all or monetized just yet which we're gonna claim it in the name of jesus okay that still be fine like even if i'm simply just supposed to get up here and have fun inspire somebody else and not make a dime that's okay with me too because if i could just inspire one person motivate one person uplift one person like that'll make me feel like i did some good you feel me like you feel me like you know what i'm saying yes i do want to make some money i ain't gonna sit here and lie to you but it's priceless, you know, when you motivate somebody and God is using you. Sometimes God uses you and it has nothing to do with monetary gain. Like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> How have you been? To God be the glory, I'm good. Uh, Once again, I will say every day is not daffodils and cherries and lollipops and ice cream and cotton candy, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, I go through stuff just like everybody else. However, I will say that overall, I'm good. I see growth. I mean, I still see areas that I do that I'm weak in and areas that I need to improve in. But 
I see some improvement and I see, you know what I'm saying, God working. And even when you can't see God working or you can't see what God is doing, that doesn't mean that he ain't working. Can I get an amen? Stop playing. Some days are, you know, better than others. Some days are rougher than others. But overall, I'm good. I'm here. I'm, I'm learning. I'm working. You feel me? So, but how you been? You know, enough about me. How are you? Okay. How are you? All right. <laughs> Do you believe in love at first sight? Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> I was thinking about this question uh, when I first saw it. I don't believe in love at first sight. I'm not saying that God cannot, you know, have certain blessings mapped out in certain ways. I'm not saying that. I, however, I'm just simply saying that I personally have never been in a situation where I found myself saying, oh my goodness, look at that lovely man. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. I just laid eyes on him and I'm instantly in love. No, I don't. I've never been in that situation. I'm only speak for myself. I don't believe in love at first sight personally. However, I feel like God is God and God, God is God, you know, and he can do whatever he wants because he's just the big boss. He's yes. Um, he can do that because he's just amazing because he's amazing like that. But so, you know, so he may have some people they meet today and they get married tomorrow. They meet five weeks ago and they get married a month later. So everybody's plan, everybody's blessings aren't necessarily displayed in the everybody everybody's blessings aren't necessarily displayed in the in the exact same way however and everybody's path is, isn't and everybody's paths aren't the same so but i'm gonna just speak for myself i personally don't believe in love at first sight i just don't <laughs> um i believe that i can like somebody at first sight whether that means i saw them i laid eyes on this person and i was like wow they are a lovely individual like their physical attributes are amazing or their physical appearance is amazing or whether it be their personality or or their personality you know and i just instantly like their personality or i like their personality but i can't say that i will ne but i can't say that i would necessarily love them at first sight or you know anything like that um for me personally what size shoe do you wear okay if i'm wearing women's i wear an eight and a half or a nine it just depends on how the shoe is how the shoe runs whether that's narrow or it runs you know a little bit more wide or it runs a little bit longer it just really depends um on how the shoe is cut and if i'm wearing men's i wear like a seven to seven and a half and all right and that's going to wrap up my q a video to those of you that asked me the questions i thank you so 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 much for asking me those questions and giving me some compliments as well i appreciate you i thank you thank you thank you okay and you know because y'all played a role in making this video possible okay as always you're more than a conqueror you got this keep pushing and i'll see y'all in the next video the next video smash that like button light it up light it up light it up comment down below hit the red subscribe button with the white letters and that lovely notification bell right next to it so that we don't miss out any of my future posts on my channel and i'll see y'all in the and i'll see y'all in the next video like it like oh yes sir